Okay. Apparently, Andrew likes to ridicule Irish people. So uh, this looks pretty simple. And uh, I think it is pretty simple. But of course, it will ask us to diagram an infinitive. So let's, let's start it out. Um, Laura, what is my simple subject? Very good. And Laura, what is my simple predicate? Likes. OK. Easy enough. Andrew likes. Now we have to ridicule Irish people. First questions first. And a lot of hands are going up, and I'm glad to see that. But first questions first. What is to ridicule Irish people? Noun, adjective, and adver or adverb. And how do you know? Oh, the hands go down. Sam? No, I thought I knew the word. Allison? Isn't it a noun? Why is it a noun? It's that what do you mean it's following the verb? Be more it's precise. It's the direct object. It's receiving the action of being liked. Therefore, to ridicule Irish per people is one intact unit is a phrase. What do phrases do? Somebody define a phrase for me. You know, it's that thing. That's right. Phrase. It's a phrase. It's a, it's a thing with the stuff. Come on. Give me a definition of phrase. It will appear on the mug's test. Yeah, you're getting closer to it, Noah. A group of words that serve a, serve a similar function. That's correct. A group of words. A group of words, plural, that serve as a single part of speech. Reagan, you have your Warners with you today. It makes me so happy. Find out how to diagram an infinitive. In fact, I believe the Warners has an example of this particular type of diagram. So look up infinitives, find out where infinitives are, infinitive phrases, and then find the diagram. We know, oops. We know a fair amount. We know that this infinitive phrase is a direct object. So we need to mark direct object. Horizontal line. Somewhere over here will be our infinitive phrase. Why? Because if the sentence were something nicer, like Andrew likes puppies, the word <laughs> puppies would fall right here. But of course, we have something more complex. Reagan, what do you have? The triangle thing. The triangle thing. Where is the triangle pointing? Up or down? Uh, Up. Now, Reagan's going to direct us here. I'm going to ask some questions. Why is the triangle pointing up and not down? What does down indicate? What does falling below something indicate? Julia? That it's describing something. And the noun is not describing anything. A noun is functioning as a noun. It's not describing a thing. Sorry, I'm losing this little triangle. I'm trying to make it bigger. Oh, good. That helped. All right, good enough. Um, Reagan, now what? Line going up. Excellent. Good. Let me remind you of something that Reagan's pointing out very clearly. Horizontal lines indicate central words, not modifying words. So it makes sense that ridicule, the central verb here, would go on this horizontal line. Just as you have Andrew, the central noun over here, and likes the central verb over here going on the horizontal line. Reagan, what about that two, which doesn't seem like so central? Good. Rather than modifying, this is sort of a lead into ridicule. So just as you would do with the prepositional, you write two on the line. Reagan, are we running out of space? Good. Why were we running out of space? Where will Irish people go?
Reagan, you're absolutely correct. Irish people is the direct object of ridicule, the thing being ridiculed. So we need another direct object. Excellent question. Is Irish a noun or an adjective? It's an adjective. It's an adjective. Therefore, it's Irish people. It's compound nouns, Kim. Good question. And I was wondering if anybody was going to ask it. Compound nouns are two, two nouns usually that, that act independently of each other. Or an adjective and a noun that act independently wouldn't doesn't modify the other. For instance, um, we might say uh, book bag. A book bag is a compound noun because there are two nouns that work together to describe one thing. People, however, are being described by the adjective Irish. Irish is qualifying them, modifying them. So we do not have the case of a compound noun. Yeah, that, that's clear. <laughs> seems like no matter how often I align my smart board now, it doesn't want to align at some. That's right. A new race of people, the Frisch people. A new race of people for Andrew to ridicule. Um, there you go. Since infinitives can work as adjectives or adverbs, sometimes the same structure will fall below because they're modifying adjectives or adverbs. But the only thing that you would do is flip. So Reagan was correct in directing this sort of triangle tree thing up because it must show that it is actually a noun. But it would be correct also to throw it down when it's an adjective or adverb modifying something. And if it were acting, to ridicule Irish people is Andrew's favorite activity. Now to ridicule Irish people is acting as what in the sentence? It's no longer a direct object. To, to ridicule Irish people is Andrew's favorite activity the subject. So all of this, this entire mess, would simply move over to this position. But it would still fall up rather than falling down because it's not modifying anything. Questions about that one?